I think the biggest thing is probably just self-motivating. I just think positivity breeds positivity, but you have to be willing to do the work. You can't just sit at home and expect business to automatically come your way. This interview is brought to you by Rendering House. One of the biggest challenges we face in new home sales is not being able to show the customer a completed home. Rendering House helps home builders advance the selling process, utilizing photorealistic augmented reality, virtual reality, and 3D renderings. Transform your boring static renderings into engaging customer experiences across all digital marketing channels. Visit renderinghouse.com. Hey everybody, Quint Lears, newhomesales.com. I'm here with Stacy Hicks with KR Cantrell Homes. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Happy to be here. We're uh, here at, in Orlando, Florida at the Best Home Building Practices Summit. How has the conference been for you so far? It has been fabulous. I have been selling new construction homes for about 13 years, and the classes here have been phenomenal. Great tidbits of information and definitely great um, sales tools. Yeah, so you've been in the business since 2003. Correct. So you've had a lot of experience even selling used houses versus new homes. Let's talk about the difference. Well, I my passion is new construction. Since I've been doing it for so long, I love the process. I love build contracts. I love working with buyers to pick colors and kind of customizing their homes. Um, used homes, resale homes, I do that as well. Um, it's just a whole different product beast in my opinion and there's so many uh, different um, challenges or issues with those. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the challenges of used houses. Well um, the main thing is repair issues. Um, when you go do a home inspection you may come upon something that you have no idea you're gonna face and you know things can fall apart um, whereas new homes especially if I'm selling one you know that someone going into a new home, you're not gonna face any repair issues. They're gonna not run into any maintenance issues for many years down the road. So it's just, for me, a preferred product. Being in the business you know, for a little bit of time, you've had some highs and some lows. Two questions, G give me a tip. Pretend somebody's brand new in the business mm -hmm. and they're looking at you saying, gosh, I wanna do that. What would be one or two things you would give advice to that person and how do you stay motivated through the highs and the lows? Wow. Um, I think the biggest thing is probably just self-motivating. Um, you can't let the lows get you down. Everyone who's been in real estate for a long time knows that one bad transaction can really taint your whole picture of the industry. But overall, I just think that, you know, you deal with really good great people and as long as you stay focused on the positive aspects of it um, and that's what you focus on I just think positivity breeds positivity and as long as you put yourself out there but you have to be willing to do the work you can't just sit at home and expect business to automatically come your way everybody wants leads what are some ways that you get leads um, what are some th you would do different if you went to a new market and had to start over um, what would you immediately start doing? Well, I think when I first came into the market that I currently live in, which is Springfield, Missouri, I was brand new to the market. I got involved in the community with um, some areas that I was passionate about, um, having friends, then they ended up referring you. Um, my first, my very first transaction was a neighbor in the neighborhood I lived in, and that's also the best way, are people who know you, your character, and wanna support you in your endeavors. And then I ended up meeting um, my builder, and um, he gave me an opportunity, and then you just have to continue to pr 
to basically prove yourself and that you're worth um, what you're telling people you can do for them. That's great. Um, what have been maybe some resources that have been helpful to you? Podcast, book, and have there been any mentors that you say have been helpful? Well, I can say I've had some different mentors throughout my life. I'm not a huge reader. Um, I just recently made the switch to Keller Williams, which is the umbrella um, that I'm under right now. They have had some amazing tools, training classes, seminars that I have attended. Um, also, coming to an event like this is just really powerful for me. Um, I tend to learn more by going to conventions as opposed to reading. I like to go to conventions and try and actually put those practices to work. Um, so those are the things that have worked for me personally. That's awesome. Um, that's any last words, any shout outs? Oh gosh, well, I've just really enjoyed my time here. Um, What's I one takeaway that you're gonna do different? Well, with the new construction homes, I just love your whole presentation. I mean, you can always find the positive in a negative. You just have to look at it from the right perspective. I also think knowing your product inside and out is key because the more you know, the more you can talk to someone freely about it. And I have worked with one of my builders for 13 years, and I think having that longevity with him and knowing his culture and the quality also just being authentic yeah. to me is so huge it's very important and I also think being passionate about what you do I love selling new homes so it's um, you know I'm passionate about it so it makes me happy to show up to work every day yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's a privilege and honor to have you on the program. Thank Thanks for you. all you do. We're gonna, you're, she's a rising star. We're expecting. What's next for you? Well, we're going to go out and sell more homes. My builder's all pumped up, and he's going to start developing and breaking ground on some new neighborhoods. And so the sky's the limit. <laughs> Here at the Best Home Building Practices Summit, thanks so much for being on the program. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate you. My pleasure.